Hello. Alright, we're back with another episode of whatever you want to call it of uh, Minecraft and politics. So I guess let's get right into it. First thing we got off here, uh just a little Bible verse. Um now the God of patience and consolation grant you to be like minded one toward another according to Christ Jesus. Uh pretty powerful verse. I I decided to start uh the beginning of every stream we'll we'll do a little Bible verse and we'll talk about it or if anybody has questions, whatever it is. Um, I just figure, you know, uh, you know, the 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 Leonric Republican isn't just uh, it's not just politics. It's it's supposed to be politics, but with the influence of Christianity. And uh, I haven't really talked about Christianity that much, so I figured this would be a good way to start off. You know, getting into uh, talking about it. So there you go. So. Got got some news. I'm gonna start off with some news. First thing up, we had a building last week that uh collapsed in Miami, right on the coast. Uh, it was a 12-story building in Miami. Um, if I can get this next slide going, this is the aftermath. This is what it looked like after it co collapsed. And uh, get, so far, latest report I can find: 10 confirmed dead, and then 151 are still missing. Um, I mean, this is a pretty catastrophic event, really sad. Um, it affected a lot of lives. It'll continue to affect a lot of lives over the next, you know, several months to come. I mean, probably longer years to come. Uh, you know, people lived here, you know, uh, people had families that lived there. People died and, uh, it's, it's a real shame, but somehow it's been, somehow the blame has been put that climate Climate change has something to do with this building collapsing in Miami. I don't know where they get the... Look, I don't understand why everything... Anything goes bad and there's always somebody... Nobody can just accept, oh, something went bad. Something bad happened. They always gotta wind it up and, and back back it up with something political. Oh, it's climate change. Oh, it's, it's this, it's that. It's blah, 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 whatever. The building collapsed. It was an old building. Uh... The waterproofing was, it wasn't, it was hardly waterproof anymore. I have another picture here. Uh, you can see cracks in the concrete. You can see water leaking in. Um, this building was not well maintained. It needed, it needed work and it was neglected. So it, it, it couldn't withstand the salt water that it was, it was coming up against it. Why it went like this for so long? I don't know. That's the fault of whoever owns it, whoever maintains it, but it's, it's not climate change. It has it has nothing to do with climate change. Um, got a video here. Let me pull this up real quick. All right. An ad, of course. There's always ads. What? Here we go. Sorry, just accidentally pressed the wrong thing. Here we go. We go to YouTube. Check that out. Look at that. You can see if I pause this here. You can see what it looks like. Uh, put up how it's supposed to look right there. And just look at how it comes down. Look at that. All thing collapse. Partial collapse, and then this side building also collapsed, I believe. Yep. Look at that. There was people inside of there. Look at that. There's no audio in this particular video. Look at that. That's... I mean, there was people living inside of there. Right there, what you're looking at right now. There's people in there. Pretty intense. Pretty intense. Um, I mean, that's really all there is to that one. Um, real shame. I think it's even more shameful that people have to start summing it up to climate change when it's, it's really not climate change. It was just a not very well-maintained... It just wasn't a very well-maintained uh, 
infrastructure. It's just not what it was. Anyways, next thing we got up is this Olympian, U.S. Olympian by the name of Gwen Berry. Here she is looking at the camera. I don't know what's up with her lipstick and the little makeup thing she's got going on. And also you can see she came third place. Um, hammer throwing, apparently. So she threw hammers for the U.S. And uh, she makes money doing this. Uh, she makes a living throwing a hammer uh, for the United States of America in the Olympics. And here she is looking at the camera, ignoring the flag. In fact, there's another picture where she actually turns around facing the opposite direction of the United States flag while we play our national anthem. She said something about how she felt as though she was set up. I don't think you were set up. I think you're just not as good as your counterparts there. You're third place for a reason. Of course it all goes back to oppression and, oh, I'm black. Black people aren't treated right. No, listen, that's a bunch of bull malarkey. We have, per, indivi per black individual, we have the highest income for blacks than any other country. We have a large multitude of government-based government subsidies for black-owned businesses, black farmers, uh, we have affirmative action where you are more likely to be accepted into a school than your white counterpart. You are not oppressed in this country. You are oppressing yourself by saying that you are the that you are being oppressed. If you can find somewhere else on planet Earth where you can just turn away from the flag and directly disrespect your country without some kind of some kind of backlash from your own government, you can tell me. Just leave it in the chat. You can tell me if you can figure that one out. You do this anywhere else and, and you'll you'll be hated. But here you can do it and, oh, she's strong for uh, putting up with blah, blah. She's standing up for it. No. She's being disrespectful. The only reason she's up on that podium right now, third place, second place, first place, doesn't matter. The only reason she's standing up there is because of the people who fell for the flag that she can't even look at. That's disrespect. You can't do that in any other country. It's disrespectful. Another thing we got going on. Uh, I don't actually have any pictures for this one, so I'll just have to check. We have what is called, well, in Canada, uh, the president's just passed, or whatever he is, prime minister, whatever. He just passed this bill, the C-10 bill, and... Basically what it does is allows for complete regulation of social media and streaming. So what you post on TikTok, what's put on Netflix, what's posted on Instagram, whatever. They have complete control over regulating what happens to that content. So if you post something, if you post anything that disrespects Canada, it will be taken down, your account can be banned, you can be uh, fined, there's there's no end to what they can do to you right now. It's complete censorship, it's it's legalized censorship. And uh, basically what this ends up doing is compelling companies like Netflix and TikTok and whatever else to pretty much promote and finance Canadian content. So you won't be, if you live in Canada now, you won't be seeing Americans talking about how bad their healthcare system is. You won't hear any of that. The only, if you live in Canada right now, the only thing you'll see on the internet, the only thing you'll see on TikTok, Netflix, Instagram, Twitter, whatever it may be, the only thing you're going to be seeing is, is going to be, it's going to be Canadian content supporting Canada. So they're going to make themselves look like they're, they're better than they are. And this is, this is ridiculous. It's not getting news coverage. There's a handful of Canadians that I know that know about it, and they're kind of, they don't know what to do. This is, this is intense. A lot of people, I, I think a lot of Canada, Canadians are going to start moving to America. They're going to start fleeing their own country because that's just, it's horrible. And if you want me to be completely honest, all the Canadians who realize what's happening and all the Canadians who want to get away from it, we welcome you. We welcome you. In fact, we will trade a good Canadian for one of our 
leftist radicalist. So all the leftists can go up to Canada, all the good Canadians can come down to America. That's, that's what I think. I think that's not a bad idea. Thought I'd mention that since nobody else is. Um, let's go ahead and get back into the news. Next thing we got up is this right here. This is intense. This is pretty intense. John Donahoe, president and CEO of Nike, said this. This is a quote from what he said. This is a statement. Nike is a brand that is of China and for China. Really? Why is it that we have such political, even private-owned businesses are making such a, tr a stride towards uh, Chinese support? Why is it? Why do you think that is? Now, I don't know if you're familiar with what goes on in China, but we have... We're saying he's saying that Nike is for China, but does 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 that include, you know, what's basically slavery, concentration camps, covering up a global pandemic, the use of child labor, strict censorship laws? Is that is that what we're talking about? Is that what Nike is for? Is it really? That's scary. That's very strange. And that's just that's just some of the news this this over the past week. Um, you know, I stream about every week, midweek, so we get about a week of news. And that's just some of the bigger things that caught my attention. Uh, another thing was Joe Biden basically threaten, threatening the, uh, the United States citizens, saying that, you you know, you're AK-47. And, you know, I don't know what he's—he doesn't know what he's talking. He probably doesn't even know what an AK-47 is. But he said, unless you have fighter jets and this and that, and you have the F-15, and you have tanks, and you have this, blah, blah, blah— then you can't take the government. You and your AK-47, you can't take the government. I don't have a video of it or anything. You can look it up, but he's basically he's basically just telling us to back down. You're not going to win. You can't fight us. Why do you think he's saying that? Does that not terrify anybody else, or is that just me? When the leader of your country tells you that you need to back down because you can't take us, you can't overthrow the government, we are superior to you, that's pretty scary. That is terrifying. That's pretty terrifying. Anyways, let's uh let's load up Minecraft and get this sucker going. Right. I think we got this down. Alright. So yeah, last time we were in here we uh pretty much just playing around. Built ourselves a little house. I think I'll furnish the inside and then uh yeah, we probably shouldn't go back in there. <laughs> Actually, let's go back in there. Let's see if that uh, cat's still hanging around. That would be a positive. Yes, one of them is still alive. Nice. Let me get desktop audio on so you guys can hear. So yeah, at this point, anything that comes to my mind, I'm just going to start talking about. Uh, you guys have any questions? Whatever it may be. All right, let me think about what I want to do here. I think I want to keep this all open. I want to put doors here, that's for sure. I want to throw that. Okay. So, got a bunch of mods installed, so I got a bunch of different doors that we can pick from. Hmm. I don't know what this one looks like. I'll pick out a couple. Palm door. Let's give it a shot. And we'll try this one too. Alright. Mm. You know, I don't really like any of them. This could just go with the basic oak door. Mm. 
test some of these out. Dungeon Jeweler looks cool. Alright, let's try this one. I don't know. We'll just go with this basic one. It'll be alright. Perfect. Alright. Interior. I'm not, sh I'm not too sure how I want to furnish it. Definitely want a bed. That's for sure. Uh, go with the brown. Kind of want to keep this all open. Just kind of have one open thing. Just kind of have the bed somewhat recessed. Or we could also kind of... We wanted to. We got a good bit of mountain. We could build a little room right here if we wanted to. Let's see. Keep it a real small basic room. wire stuff on my uh, panel. I also have a uh, the voice voice thing, voice chat. So if you guys type anything in chat, it I think it should announce it to me. It's kind of cool. Get those lanterns again. Just put one right there. But well, we're gonna do that into the roof. And kind of going back to the uh, the whole blaming the collapse of that building in Miami on a. Uh, global warming or whatever climate change we have all these people advocating you know stop the coal uh, you know let's switch over to wind and solar energy blah 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 and that sounds all fine and dandy but when you look into it it's not that easy to storing uh, wind and solar energy is hard to store you kind of have to use it right as it's coming out you know what right as you're basically i don't know what the correct term is harvesting it whatever you got to use it pretty much just as fast as you get it because it's just kind of hard to store and there's science behind that i'm not going to get into it but we can't just make the switch it's not that easy we can't just stop you know coal farms and all this stuff we, we can't just stop it we still need it um we're very dependent on it and uh, I think it was Elon Musk that said uh, if he had a button to just stop all carbon emissions, you know, everything that caused carbon emission, if he had a button to press to stop it all, he wouldn't press it. Because we're way too dependent on it. It would destroy us economy, uh, economically. It just it wouldn't work. But something that would work, especially with the amount of research that's gone in since Chernobyl and, you know, whatever else, nuclear energy. Zero emissions. Uh, super efficient, easy to store. Uh, I can't remember. I can't remember the number for it. I want to say it's for it's it's a bigger number than what you think. It seems like it's for every fifty, somewhere between fifty and a hundred uh, coal plants that we have right now. We could replace fifty of them with one uh, small nuclear power plant. That's that's how efficient it is and zero emissions. Um, you know you're. You're basically just heating up water that flows through a turbine, spins that turbine, and you get energy. So you're putting that, all that water that you collect and you put in these tanks to heat up and evaporate, it just goes right back into, back into the atmosphere. I mean, don't get much better than that. That's what we need to start doing, but 
I don't know. I think... See, here's the thing. Especially with the left. And I'm not saying it's just the left. I think the right does it to a certain extent, too. They use problems to... I'll put this. They use problems to their advantage. They use these issues like climate change to leverage voters. They use it to incite some kind of emotional response that'll that'll get them to it'll get them a vote. And I think that's wrong. Number one and number two. Why in the world would they fix these issues if they're using these issues as tools to to promote their own agenda? Why would they fix it? They no longer have that tool to promote their own agenda. See what I'm saying? So why are they going to fix the problem that they're using as a tool? They won't. And that's a shame. Google again. We'll use that one. What's it called? Uh, not a hatch. What in the world? I can't remember what it's called. These things. Trapdoor. Yes. I'm going to use trapdoors as a desk. I think I'm going to use probably this one. There we go. We got a little desk. Um. Right, we'll start with that. Put a dresser over here. How do you do a dresser, I wonder? Do I have some kind of mod? That... Nah, definitely not. Um... Ooh, I saw this on TikTok, I think. Uh, take... It's like, uh... Almost looks like a mannequin type thing. You put your armor on. Like a type. Holy smokes. Alright. Yeah, this thing. Let me take this. Set that down. You load that up with armor. So get some armor, I guess. What looks good. That stuff looks pretty cool. Alright, see. So boom. Boom. Alright, so you get them suited. You take glass. You take piston. Take redstone block or whatever. Put that there. Then you can do that and it pushes it in there. So then you have like a case for your. Uh, it's like a little quick case, and then you can take a uh, trap door. Uh, a little bit darker one. I'll put this right here. Lay it down. And then you got like a little case. You know, keep your armor in or whatever. I might actually do this again. Uh, I'm, I think I want to do a basement, like a, like an underground uh, basement type thing that we'll do. I think that'd be pretty cool. So yeah, that's how you do that. Um, yeah, we'll just keep it like that for now, actually. Yeah, we'll do that. That's good. Oop. We got a room. I don't know what I'm going to do with all this free space. Probably put a... Put tables. Not really. Let's do a kitchen area right here. How about that? Let's do uh Alright, let's just do basic stuff. Let's do a... Uh, oven? No. Not called ovens. It's called furnaces. See, I'm smart. Um, hmm. We're not really going for functionality, if you haven't realized. We're just kind of making it look good. Yeah, I don't know. We'll go with that. And then I think I would like... You know, I almost want underscore monk underscore man. Oh. How's the cats? Oh, the cats, yes. I actually went and checked on one earlier. We'll take another look. Still there. One of them is. The other one, of course, died in the last episode. 
Big underscore monk underscore man. Talk to speech. Yes, I don't know. Can you hear the text to speech? Big underscore monk underscore man. Resident sleeper. Big underscore monk underscore man. Yes. Big underscore monk underscore man. I can. Gotcha. All right. I think I wanna. Big underscore monk underscore man. Why does it say my username? I have no idea. That's just how it's set up. I can try messing around, see if I can change that. But... Uh, yeah, I'm not too sure. Get that off screen. Okay, here we go. All right, now I, I've turned it off. Now you can't do usernames. Because that is kind of annoying when you're saying the same thing. All right. I think I want to build like a little deck out here. I'm not too sure. I don't know. I'm scared it's going to affect the way it looks. I think I'm just going to do a table out right here, kind of looking out the window. Mm. I wonder way. if I can make the text to speech have a seizure. Probably. No, I'm kind of worried. This ought to be entertaining. Do this one more. Mm, not taking that. Mm hmm. I don't know. I'm just gonna build a basement now. I think I'm gonna do that. E. B. B. E. E. Mm. B. E. Trying to think, I want to do a door that like reveals itself. But I don't really know how to do that, so. Um, my torch is back out. Oh, they have different colored ones. Oh, that's pretty cool. Getting distracted. Oh, it doesn't do anything. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, that's cool. I'm going to put those uh, at the entrance over here instead. Down here. I don't do a lot of lighting, though. They do more lighting if you do it on the top than it does in the middle. Interesting. I'll do that, then. All right. That looks cool. All right. Anyways, see if I can figure out how to do like a an invisible door where it just looks like wood. Cut out some of this right here. Need plenty of space to try building this thing out. All right, so. We need some pistons, sticky pistons. Uh, we'll do redstone right there. <laughs> redstone lantern, that's cool. Definitely do the redstone lantern as the uh, entrance. Nice and scary. All right, so we'll do two. 
this going to work? Both of these activate. Okay, so that fills the space, and then we do oak plank. It's gonna take both of them down? I don't think it will. It just takes one. Okay. Um. Oh, it doesn't even take it all away. So that's definitely not gonna work. All right. Um. We gotta do one on top, and then one on bottom. Right here. No, that's gonna come down one. Yeah, so... Wait, how am I supposed to do this? Because I have it too... Hmm. You know what? We can have the top one come out from this direction. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Okay. When this is activated... Wait. I'm stupid. What am I doing? Why is this confusing me so much? How do I do this? All right. What if I have it come down like this? Come down from the bottom like that. Okay. Nope. You should be right here. So, and that will pinch these two together. Wait, no, that needs to come up on. No. Yeah, I'm doing this right. I think I'm mildly retarded or something, I'm not too sure. And then we have this thing right here. Can these push it into place that way? See what I'm trying to do right here. Okay. That worked. Oh, dude, that's perfect. Alright, so then it does that. Oh, okay, so these work. No. Okay. Boom. Then it comes down. That one goes back up. From the outside... One there, one up there. That puts it like that. What? What do I do? What up? All right, it's weird, stalking us. All right, put this one right there. That closes them both. All right, sweet, that'll work. Um, so we'll need our repeater. I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, okay. How in the world do I do this? Wait, that one didn't come down. Okay. Okay, so if I do a wall right here. Okay, so I guess I have to have a switch here. Can't I... With a redstone torch where you can have it where... Okay. And if you... Doesn't that reverse it somehow? What am I doing wrong? Am I s I'm just slow or something. We'll just do a switch. I don't even care. We'll just do a button or something. Do a lever. Okay, 
so it does those two, and then we gotta figure it out. Let me get that redstone torch back out. Okay. And you put another one. No, how do you do this? Do you put one underneath this one? Yeah, okay, there we go. I'm not totally stupid. Um, just minorly. Okay, but I don't want to go that deep, so let's do... One right there. I'm gonna do that right there, and then put this one right here. Okay, sweet. So then... What does that mean? And then if... I'm thinking here. I'm so bad at this. Um, no, but we want this stuff to stay engaged, right? So then that means. So I need Have you ever had a dream that you could, that you, that, and that you could almost, and that you could do so much you could do anything? Yeah, uh, yeah, a couple times, but like only rare occasions. Sounds like Joe Biden, really. Okay. Need a repeater, so. That ain't how that works. Good to know. What if I put the repeater right here? Ah, break. Can I middle bar spam? Middle bar spam? What does that mean? I'm not too sure what that means, to be honest with you. How to get a better one of the best pickup lines and a mafia brother mixed with a boy or a girl has a little bit of a world without you is a suspect it 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 would be funny I would like to be able to use it as you can I have the perfect game is gunshots and then leave the door open for a while and I will make it red and white girl then I can do it again lol. Well, now I know what you mean where you press the middle suggestion a hundred times and see what it does. Fairly annoying. Okay, so that's the yeah. on. Okay. And what if I put this right here? Will that be close enough? No. No, oh, we're gonna go around to the back side and do that. Okay, so let's get rid of that, and then we're gonna have it go. Boom, 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 boom. boom. This one out. Put it. Repeat it one more. That right there. Go down here, then we can have that connect. All right, and then we can go. Did I do that? 
Is this a cave? What is this? Any political questions to ask? Considering we are a uh, political account. Oh yeah. I should have that come back up this way. No, I don't want to keep anything on that side. I don't want to do this part. Build it up and over. What do you personally think on the Russia-Ukraine conflict? Uh, it's the same thing that happened during uh, the Obama-Biden administration. Uh, it's truly really not that hard to understand. Basically, uh, every time our country gets weak and Russia knows that we won't do anything about it, they go and they invade uh, Ukraine again. That's what they do. Happens every single time we get weak. HD and I have a boyfriend now and then put it on like a good time for me anyway winking face I don't want you why me to a lot about you like my life is good but you don't have any of the devil smiling face with horns to be there by me and I can do that when I was in the morning sunrise lol lol face with tears of joy I was in bed and then put lava on the group what chat. In the world? What was that about? Man, the strangeness of the bars. True. Alright, now this should work. Or not. Why is the one on the bottom not going? What's over that? Too far. How you feeling today? He is excited to be a hell of fun of me smiling face and then I can already do we have to say sorry to hear that grinning face with big eyes is the movie the next few days we can go out to eat the rest of your house they couldn't be tea to get the profile to do you want me Ethan lol lol face with tears of joy it is the drop off your phone back on my phone bugs me no ea good day going on the grind quote e that's better I I'm done Okay, that's good. Definitely happy you're done. Alright, let's see. This should work now. Hmm. Okay. Maybe the delay on this second one isn't enough. Okay, so that goes up through there. Up and around. B. Wish I could see what was going on here. E. Okay, so the top one seems to be working. Oh. Uh, huh. E. Can we stop e. with the spam in chat, please? Alright, so this needs to return. Hmm. i just take this out. That definitely doesn't work. Hmm. I'm not too sure how to do this. Guess we could try doing like a uh so if we engage these individually, what in the world? Zombie die, alright. If we do these individually, so if we have these two connected right here. What do you think on Joe Biden like Hong only small slightly retarded children of the white color? Uh, I guess everybody has their preferences. Okay, so 
so these connected to those two. Why? Oh! This one up here is triggering. Okay. Alright. Okay. I'll do this. Up another one. He's a little bold with his, uh, interesting kids. A little too bold, if you ask me. I think everybody sees it, even the left sees how strange he gets with children. I think the thing is, is that, uh, they're just happy it's not Trump, you know. You just gotta hate Trump, as long as you hate Trump, that's all you gotta do. Okay, why is that one not coming back? Is that one sticky? Why is that one still engaging? Am I retarded? That brings me to another question. And what would that be? What do you think on Trump having the nickname the Orange Man? Uh, he just had a... He just looked to have had a slight orange tint. And then uh, people just ran with it, I guess. I don't think it's bad or anything, you know, it's just whatever. Whatever people feel. I really want to get this done before I end the stream, but I can't figure out what I'm doing wrong here. Hmm. What do these red things look? Oh, I thought it'd actually be red. It's not. Hmm. For some reason, I'll put this here. Both of these want to engage. right there but then I'm gonna flip it back and then it gets stuck there all right let me try a completely different design let's do three of these let's do two backed up right here so let's do get rid of some of that one there, one there, one there, one there. What I'm hoping for is that both of these will, uh, retract at the same time, so we can just kind of do that. Put this right here. Okay. Okay, so pistons that are connected to work together somehow. Okay. Okay, I'll tell you what, I'll do this. Up this. Put that right there. Then those engage, and then when I pull off these. Okay, now what's not working? I need those to engage first, and then these to engage. Or disengage after, so I'll put a little thing right there. I think that should work. Yeah, 
again, why does this not stick with them? Maybe that's just not something you can do. These are engaging right though, I think. I give up. I give up. I give up. Anyways, I guess I'm gonna end it there. Um, pretty good talk. Lots of cool news going on. Pretty much the same thing every week. Democrats doing something stupid and then Republicans trying to fix it. I think uh, next episode I'll do something on climate control and uh, just all the stupidness behind it, especially trying to blame that Miami condo collapse on climate change. It was just a rundown building. That's all there was to it. So, anyways, that's going to be it. I'll uh, catch you all in the next one.